If you're looking for a new gaming graphics card, then this video should help you out. We've got a load of price ranges ranging from £150, which is really the minimum I would recommend if you're buying a discrete graphics card right now, all the way up to, well, actually about a thousand to a thousand one hundred pounds and similar amounts in dollars as well. If at any point in this video you see a card that you want to pick up or you just want to check out pricing when and where you watch this for any of the cards we've mentioned here and take a look at the links in the description down below. That will take you to your local Amazon store, uh, which will help you see all of that. I'm also using TechSpot benchmarks here because they do excellent results that I highly recommend you check out when you're checking out graphics cards and you can check out Hardware Unboxed as well for a video form of basically the same benchmark. And one final thing to mention is that if you want to pick up a used graphics card, since all of the ones I'm mentioning here are brand new prices, uh, which by the way, the used market can be a great place to get a higher end graphics card than you'd be able to get new for the same sort of money. Uh, but if you want to check out tips on how to find those sorts of deals, then check out the used buyer's guide uh, as that should help you out. So let's jump into the first price range, which is the sub £150 mark. As I mentioned, this is really kind of the baseline for what I would recommend for a discrete graphics card, uh, because otherwise you really are getting pretty naff performance per dollar uh, with stuff like the GT 1030s and stuff like that. So um, in, in this category, I highly recommend you check out an RX 570. It's an incredible card, beats out a 1050 Ti for less money, and is generally a pretty amazing card for its value. Now, AMD may be updating these cards at some point in the sort of relatively near future, so if you are interested and maybe getting a little bit extra performance if you could hold out, then that's an option, but uh, the RX 570 is an incredible car. Moving up in the price range to the sort of sub 200 pound range, this is really the RX 580's kind of kingdom. This is incredible value for money. It gives you a similar, if not better performance than a GTX 1060. And if you do want to spend a little bit more, then you check out the GTX 1660, which is a new card from the video that does perform better than an RX 580 and even an RX 590, which is essentially just an overclocked 580, um, as you can see by the benchmarks. But if you want a little bit less money spent, so obviously the 1660 Ti's, you're looking at about 230 for the reasonable uh, kind of coolered ones. So if you want to spend a little bit more, that's an option. But if you want to keep it below 200, then the 580 is where to head. In the sub 300 pound range, we actually have two different options. We've got one, which is the AMD RX Vega 56, which is actually a fairly old, but really quite impressive card in terms of its performance and selling for about 250 to 300 pounds. It is an excellent value of money for high refresh rate 1080p or even 1440p gaming. And the second option you have here is the GTX 1660 Ti. This one is also a new card and is pretty impressive. It's about 8% slower than the Vega 56 according to TechSpot's benchmarks uh, and is actually a tad bit more expensive depending on which one you're looking at but still provides a very interesting proposition and if you don't want to go the AMD route then this is an option as well. In the sub £350 range this is where we're getting into really Nvidia's kind of market share territory. We have the new RTX 2060 which obviously has the new RTX feature, so if you're interested in that, that is available to you here, and this is really kind of the sweet spot for the RTX 2060. You get amazing either 1080p 144Hz type refresh rate gaming, or you can go with even 1440p gaming and still get some really good experiences. Moving a little bit further up the food chain to the £400 mark, we have actually another AMD card. This is a bit of a surprise because really Nvidia has left a massive gap here between the 2060 and the 2070, about £150 gap to be precise, and really means that the Vega 64 is really the only option you have here at this sort of price point, unless you want to go with sort of overclock 2060, but you get a significant amount less performance there, so I would highly recommend checking out the Vega 64 as it's a pretty impressive card, especially where it sits in the market. If you've got even more money to spend than that, about £500, as we mentioned, the RTX 2070 is probably where you want to head. You get some impressive gaming results, especially at 1440p, even high refresh rates. And you can even squeeze some 4K gaming out of it too, if that's what you need. And finally, if you have more money than cents and you really want to spend it on a graphics card, then you can check out the RTX 2080 Ti. These are still selling for about £1,100, and that's even for some of the more budget models. There's ones all the way up to, I think, like £1,500 for the Strix one still. So um, if you're interested in spending over £1,000 or $1,000 on a graphics card, then 
that is your option. It is the king of the world right now and is also incredibly impressive at doing 4K, even high refresh rate gaming. So that is the list, that is the lineup, that is what I'm recommending here today. Of course, if any new cards do come out and you're interested in seeing an updated version of this video, do let me know in the comments down below. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about the different price points. If there's anything you would recommend or a specific model of the cards that I've mentioned, for example, an MSI Armor or Asus Strix or anything else that you would specifically recommend at these sorts of price points, do let me know in the comments down below as well. As I mentioned at the start, if you want to check out links to any of the cards that I've mentioned here, they're all in the description down below for you. You can also check out the rest of the links if you want to support the channel and keep me making these videos on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis. Whether that's merch for hoodies and t-shirts like this one with cool designs like this or plenty of other ones or a load of other stuff like Amazon and Overclocked UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. You can also support me directly on Patreon and get cool rewards for doing so or check out the rest of the stuff like private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN or Humble Bundle for cheap games that support charities too. You can also check out the subscribe button and the bell notification icon if you're new to the channel and check out some other videos over there too. Otherwise, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.